Hi everyone, this is Omer from webtechwise.com. What I'd like to talk about today is how you can back up your WordPress blog and install it locally using SAMP. Uh, in order to do that, you need uh, two things. You need to download and install XAMPP from the Apache Friends website and you also need to download WordPress from uh, wordpress.org. The first thing we need to do is copy the WP content from the live server. Uh, so in order to do that, I can log in to cPanel or I can do this from my uh, FTP client. Okay, so I'll go uh, with the FTP client. And now I want to take this uh, folder WP content and copy it locally. The next thing uh, we need to do is uh, export the MySQL database from the live server. So in order to do that, I'm going to log in to my uh, cPanel. And I'm going to click on uh, PHP in my admin, select the database. and click on export. Now just make sure that the save is, is file is ticked and click go. Okay, I'm going to download this file. I will run the XAMPP. I click on explore and htdocs. And here I'll create a folder for my local website and inside this folder I need all the WordPress files and folders. I have it here. I'm going to copy everything except the WP content because uh, the WP content I'm going to copy from the backup I created uh, before. Now the next thing is to import the MySQL database I exported. Import it uh, into XAMPP. So I click on uh, admin here and then I click PHP my admin. Okay, now I need to create a database. So I'll type the database name and click create. And I'm going to import the file I exported from the live website. Then click go. Next thing I click on uh, options and I need to change the site URL option and the home option. So in site URL, I click edit here and I switch the URL from the previous one to the new local URL. I copy this and go and then I click to the next page and edit again and paste it here as well. All right now we have the database installed. Now I click on uh, explore again to go into the folder htdocs, webtechwise, and take this file, copy and paste it, make sure this file is called wp-config, and open the file and uh, do the configuration necessary. So here the db name is, and the user should be root, and the password is nothing. Now the next thing to do is define a site in Dreamweaver. I click on site, new site, and advanced. I'm going to call it local web tech wise. And now I click here and I browse for the folder that I have it installed in. And then I click OK. After defining the website in Dreamweaver, I need to replace every occurrence I have of question mark with question mark with PHP. Because Xamp doesn't know how to read the question mark 
this way. So I click on replace all and yes. And I also need to replace every occurrence I have for the previous URL with the current one. And click replace all and yes. This actually went through all the files I have in the local website and switch these occurrences. The last thing uh, you might need to do is uh, once you have the local website installed, you can install the search and replace uh, plugin for WordPress in order to uh, replace uh, URLs in the database from the previous URL uh, to the new local URL. Finally, let's make sure that the local installation is working Go to the browser and type the local site URL and it's working. Thank you for joining me to this tutorial. I hope to see you soon in webtechwise.com. Thank you.